Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today, we are going to be playing a few of the, what I consider, top Nintendo Switch games with the N64 controller that just came out for Nintendo Switch. Now, I did a video unboxing this, also uh, testing it out. It's all in the same video. Uh, but I wanted to actually try some Switch games with this thing. There's one problem. One problem. There's no X and there's no Y on this controller. That is my only problem. So besides that, we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to play probably four or five different games in this video. If you do enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe, guys new. And I will link uh, kind of or put like chapters or whatever in the video so you guys can see, you know, each game specifically if you guys want to check it out. So let's jump into this. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. And let's do this. All right. First up, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm going to sit like this so you guys can see the controller at the same time. Uh, we're going to jump into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Because, again, I think this is obviously one of the top games on the Nintendo Switch. So, let me get jump into a, a race. We're going to race around a little bit. We're going to go 150 CC, and I'm going to use my uh, standard. I'm going to use Link. Now, again, no X or Y. All we got is B, A and B, uh, and the C sticks. So, we can, we can race just fine. What better place to go than Rainbow Road from the N64 game? And, uh, obviously, looking a little bit nicer than it did back in the day. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, false start. That is unfortunate. So, it's working well. I will say that. I'm trying to make sure I'm centered in the camera here. It does work well, uh, for the most part. The only problem that I'm going to have is items. Uh, oh wait, hold on. L. So, I, I can I can use L, but I got to take my, my hand off the controller because, Frank! That was my bad. I, it's not the controller. That was me just sucking. Um, but I got to take my hand off the controller because the L is all the way over there. The way these controls were made is you would either hold it in the middle to use the stick or you would hold it like this to use the D-pad. Oh, does the D-pad work? Oh, the D-pad works. The D-pad is actually working. Okay. Well, that makes my life a little bit easier. Sort of. Even though it feels really, really, really weird to use the D-pad. Oh gosh, there I go again. There I go again. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh wait, we're already in the third lap? Did I already go around twice? There's no way I went around twice. All right, we're gonna win. We got this, we're in first place. And boom, finish. Mario Kart 64, uh, or sorry, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the N64 Rainbow Road with the N64 controller. Let's move on to the next game. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the N64 controller. Let's see how this thing plays. I I am I am really I, you know what? It's probably gonna be easy because we got the C buttons here, and we got A and B, and we got the 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 L and R. So I I would assume that we're gonna be able to pull this off quite easily. So let me load up a game here. Everybody's been waiting for Sora for a long time. Let's play with Sora, okay? All right, here we go. Let's see how we do. So, oh gosh, hold on here. All right, all right, all right. Wait, I, I, no wait, I don't have a, hold on. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, 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 hold on. I got this, I got this, I got this. I think I got this. This is a level three CPU. So the C stick, oh no. Okay, this is more complicated than I thought. I think it's more because I'm not used to it. I think if I got used to this, that it could, it could work out well. Oh gosh, I was just I was just holding that. I was just holding that hoping um, Okay, it's okay It's like I said you got you got the C sticks Or the C buttons rather which acts as the C stick or the right stick All right, there we go We did okay there See I love the B move for Sora that that's all I need I get to spam with that and we're good to go Oh, oh, ah, uh, almost. Ah, uh, you you kidding me? You kidding me right now? Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's it's really weird because my muscle memory like obviously is not used to it. My muscle memory is like, what is this? This doesn't make any sense. Um, I didn't play a lot of Smash on 64 back in the day. I played a little bit. Like I've said in other videos before, is I didn't. N64 was like the only Nintendo home console I never owned. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure why. 
And, um, but I played at a lot of my friends' house and family's houses, so, you know. It's not like I, I didn't play the console. But hey, Super Smash Bros. with the N64 controller, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It actually works surprisingly well. This is one that actually worked pretty good, so... Not bad. You could you could get away with it. Let's move on to the next game. All right. So I don't know if I would call this like one of the best, one of the or one of the top five Nintendo Switch games, but it's a pretty good game. I really love the Donkey Kong Country franchise. I love the first three games, and so you know what? I thought let's throw in Tropical Freeze into this mix because we got to show Donkey Kong some love. All right. I don't know actually how how we're gonna be able to play. I don't know. I don't remember the buttons. I don't remember the buttons. So we're gonna see. I'm on the one of the alternate button schemes where I guess you use your shoulder buttons. I don't know. I can't I can't I don't know how that works. We're gonna figure this out together though. So we're gonna do Oh great. Um well I can't do that, so we can, we gotta go to a different level. Alright, so obviously you're gonna have some issues, right? Um there's certain things you can't do. I can't I can't pick this up. I have no way to do that. All I could do is basically jump. Because A is to jump and B is to jump. So, if you gotta roll into an enemy... <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I, I do have that. I do have that option. It's uh, the Z on the back. Okay, so that's an option. Otherwise, so I can, I can grab and I can jump. But this, this is an issue. You see this? I can't, I can't climb here. That's a problem. Um, okay, hold on. We got other, other options for, for our controls. We got default, and then we have alternate. Now, all that really does is swap out, as you can see, the ZR and the ZL with the Y and the X, what they do. So if we go alternate, what we could do, technically, is nothing. Hold on here. Oh, now we can, now we, okay, it has to be the Z on the back. Now we can ground pound. We can do that, but that's all we could do. I can't, I can't even make it past the second level. I mean, if you're trying to play the whole game with a Switch controller, you're not getting anywhere. You're not getting anywhere because you can't go up here. You're going to have to jump like that and then waste a heart. You see? And then when you get here, whoops. When you get here, what are you going to do? You can't even get up there. There's no way up there. You're going to have to go down here and just kind of, you know, grab the secret puzzle piece. And after that, you're done. You're done. There's, there's no getting through this game with an N64 controller. So I hate to say it. I really do hate to say it because I do enjoy this game and by the way, I hope that they make a new Donkey Kong Country soon. We're, we're, we're overdue for that. Hopefully sooner than later. I hate to say it because I love the Donkey Kong Country franchise, but you, you can't do this. It's not doable, so I guess we gotta move on. <laughs> Alright guys, now we are over on Super Mario Odyssey. Come on! You knew I was gonna do it. You knew I was gonna do- I had to do it! It wouldn't be a video testing out the best Nintendo 64, or the best Nintendo Switch games with the N64 controller without Mario Odyssey. So we're gonna jump into this. Okay, um, so I wanted to actually go to a different world, but I forgot that I'd restarted playing this game, and this is the world that I'm at, and unfortunately where I'm at in the game, uh, I can't- I can't go use my- my ship here. Um, so, <laughs> unfortunately we're- we're stuck with showing you guys this world, but hey, it's still the game. And that's all that matters. Now, my only problem is that, again, I only have the ability to jump. I don't have the ability to do anything, well, and ground pound. And ground pound. But I, I don't have, like, any, I mean, I got my C-stick, which changes the camera. And my D-pad is basically just for snapshot mode. Um, yeah. The stick to run around. The L and the R to change the camera a little bit, like if you're looking over here and you push R, or if you're looking over here, L and R do the same thing. So, there's not a lot you could really do in this game, to be quite frank, except basically just do this. Just run around, collect coins, ground pound stuff. Which I guess is good for what we're doing here, since in this world there's a lot of ground pounding involved. There is a moon here. That I can't remember how to get because it's been a minute. I I can't I can't I can't even do that. I can get some coins. Whoa, leave me alone. I don't want no trouble. I'm just trying to Ooh. Coins! See? That's we can do that. We get <laughs> we get beautiful, wonderful coins. I mean it works. For what it does, just like Donkey Kong uh, 64. My gosh, man. Not like Donkey Kong 64. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say Sumer. Oh my gosh, not Super Mario Odyssey either. Where's my brain right now? 
It works the same as Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze did, right? You can jump around. You can do stuff. You can do a little bit more, right? We have a little bit more leeway in what we could do with this than we did with Donkey Kong. I was going to say Donkey Kong 64 again. Donkey Kong 64 ain't even on the Switch yet. In terms of fighting enemies and throwing Cappy, I mean, we, we literally have no way to throw Cappy. We can't, we can't do any, any kind of the platforming that is, you know, specific to Super Mario Odyssey because it's impossible. There's no way to do it. The best we got here is I can go... Well, what I was going to say is the best I could do is go get that moon, but apparently not because I can't even run. You see what I mean? I can, I can just, I can just walk. So I can't even make that jump over there. I can go over here. But, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all we're... We're stuck with nothing to do in this world, maybe other worlds, but certainly not this one. Let's move on to the next game. Ah, so we are here, my friends, in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You knew I was going to end it with this. I mean, if you didn't know I was going to end it with this, I don't know what you thought. Let's load in and try it out. Look at this. Just, just look at this. I love this game. It is so beautiful. The only problem is... I don't, again, I don't have an X, so I can't jump, um, and I don't have a Y, so I can't, <laughs> all I can do is this, all I can do is pretend to go throw my, my weapon, or I could use my bombs, right, I could use my, my, my Sheikah abilities, right, I can, no, do I have a right stick, okay, so the C stick works as the right stick, so I have this, right, I have these options, but besides that, I got nothing going for me here, man. This is just a grim, <clears throat> excuse me, a grim reality. I got the C-stick for the camera, too. We're just hanging around Kakariko. Dude, I, man, I, I just want to say, anybody who tuned into the, this series when we streamed all the uh, Breath of the Wild stuff, and all the videos that we made here on the channel for Breath of the Wild, I mean, dude, if you've been around that long, thank you. And if you're new, thank you for hanging out as well. That was a great series, man. I'm feeling really nostalgic just thinking back to that time and to that era. It was just, it was just, um, oh, we got a farming hoe. Okay. What do you want me to do with that? <clears throat> I can't carry any more <laughs> melee weapons. I can't, I can't run. Oh, I can run. Never mind. I got B. I forgot. I have, I have the B. But besides that, I can't do anything. If I was to get into a fight, we would be in deep, deep trouble here. Okay. We'd be in really deep trouble. I, do I, I just want to say, Breath of the Wild 2 cannot come fast enough. I am so freaking excited for that game. Let me know if you guys are too. I don't know what it's going to be called officially. Probably not Breath of the Wild 2, but you know, it's going to be great. I am so pumped. I am so insanely pumped. And um, I look forward to doing another playthrough of that game. I look forward to, to all the guides that we're going to have for that game. All the video content it's gonna be amazing it's gonna it's gonna be absolutely amazing as far as breath of the wild goes like i said <clears throat> excuse me like i said with the n64 controller we can't do much we can just roam around which is fine that's all we really need to do i mean i can like i said i can pull out my sword but besides that that's it i could block i can run i can't even pull out my paraglider so i'm gonna get <laughs> Really hurt on the way down. <laughs> Not a lot you can do with this game. Smash Bros and Mario Kart seem to be the main games you could actually get anything decent, decently done with this controller. All these other games, they were built for the Switch, so obviously you're not going to be able to do much. The point of this wasn't, you know, to think that we could do much. The point of this was to see what we could do with the N64 controller. And I expected it wouldn't be much without an X and a Y on the controller. But anyways, this thing's already out. If you want to see my unboxing for it, uh, it's on the channel. As well as we tested the uh, the controller with some the, some of the actual N64 games, not Switch games. But I wanted to test out some Switch games in this video. So let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Stick around for more Nintendo-based content. Share with your friends and all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And until then, game on.